In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel, according to St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 9 through to 13. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. So he rose and followed him. Now it happened, as Jesus sat at the table in the house, that, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw it, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard that, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. In today's Gospel from St. Matthew, we read about him being called by Jesus to follow him. And he did. And as they were sitting at table, there were many other tax collectors and sinners there too. But when the Pharisees saw this, they were astonished, and they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus, of course, overheard this. And his reply was, Those who are well have no need of a physician, a doctor, but those who are sick. And the important part of this scripture reading, he says, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. Mercy, we all want it. We sinful people desire mercy not to be cast away. Those who go to church, sadly these days, becoming far and few between who do. But thank God we still have a, some stalwarts, so to speak, them who are still faithful. But we must be welcoming those outcasts, so to speak, of society. Those who are sinners. And in those days with Jesus, tax collectors were classified also as outcasts. Those who were doing the bid of Rome, collecting the money from those who could ill afford them. But Jesus wants us to be loving. The commandment he gave us to love one another, whether they are sinners or not, as he loves us. Jesus welcomed these people. These people who repented of their sins. So too must we, to those who repent, who turn around and follow Jesus, who become disciples of Christ. We must welcome them in to our homes, to our churches, our places of worship. Pray to the Holy Spirit 
that you understand what this reading is all about. Especially that last verse. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. To call sinners to repentance is why he came, to save us. Pray for the understanding of the teachings of Jesus and what he wants from us. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.